Oh, this is going to be the first uh, toolkit of the year here in our Math 2 integrated uh, course here for CPM. Uh, you should have gotten this from your uh, teacher. It's a blank one of these, a polygon graphic organizer key. And uh, what I'm going to have you do right now is you're actually going to fill this in. If you need to stop the video at any point to uh, slow down a little bit, I'm going to go a little fast and you can just pause when needed. So our first polygon is called an equilateral triangle. And that's defined as a triangle with all sides of equal length. So that we mark that with these three marks you see right here. By the way, anything that's uh, highlighted in yellow means it's part of the definition of that figure. If it's not highlighted, it's a characteristic of it, but it's not necessarily part of the definition. So for instance, an equilateral triangle, all angles have equal measure. It also has reflection and 60 degree rotation symmetry. But really all you need to do for now is write what's in yellow. Just know that it also has these other characteristics. All right, the next figure is called a isosceles triangle, and that's a triangle with at least two sides of equal length. So we indicate that with these two little marks over here, tick marks. We have a scaling triangle, which is a triangle with no sides of equal length. So we, when we have no sides of equal length, we have to make sure that we have different amount of marks. So this has one mark on one side, two on this side, and three on the other. And it doesn't really matter which side has one, which side has two, which side has three, as long as you, they all have different number of marks. Uh, we have a scaling right triangle, which is just like a scaling triangle, except it also has a 90 degree angle. So that's marked over here with this little box. All right, moving on to the next ones here. We have, oops, going a little far there. Uh, we have right here, the next one would be a isosceles right triangle. So that would be a triangle with a 90 degree angle and then two sides of equal length. So we'd mark the two marks here and our right angle. We have a square. Uh, a square is a quadrilateral, which is really a short thing for just saying, hey, it has four sides. It has four right angles and also four sides of equal length. So we have our four right angles here in the corner, and then we have one, two, three, four, uh, one tick marks there. And then there's other things too, like opposite sides are parallel, things like that as well. But really, once again, the definition is just in the yellow. We have a rectangle, which is a quadrilateral with four right angles. So one, two, three, four. And opposite sides are equal in length. So you can see one mark here, one mark here, two marks here, two mark here, and also opposite sides are parallel. But once again, those are characteristics, not part of the definition of a rectangle. Next, we have a parallelogram, and that's a quadrilateral with two pairs of parallel sides. So opposite sides here are parallel, and we indicate that with these little arrows. And the bottom and the top are parallel as well. And since they're parallel to each other, but not to the others, they're gonna have two arrows on them instead of one, which would be the ones on the sides here. All right, turning to the next side, we have some more figures. And once again, it kind of took off on me there, went a little too far. So we have the trapezoid, which is a quadrilateral that has at least one pair of parallel sides, usually top and bottom, but not always. A rhombus, which is also a quadrilateral, but that has all sides of equal length. So one, two, three, four, they're all the same in terms of length. Quadrilateral just in general is just a polygon with four sides, that's it. We have kites, that's a quadrilateral with two pairs of consecutive equal sides. So that means these two sides in a row, that's what consecutive means, these are the same length. And then the two over here on the right side are also of same length. All right, moving on, we have a few more here. We have the regular pentagon, so that's a five-sided polygon. And in this case, all sides are of equal length. So you'll see the slash mark all the way around there, a little tick mark. And then all angles are of equal measure. So one, two, three, four, five. So all the angles are the same, and that's how we indicate it. Regular hexagon, same thing, except it's six-sided. So all the sides are of equal length. All the angles are of equal measure. Uh, two left here, we have the isosceles trapezoid. And that's a quadrilateral with two parallel sides. So in this case, that's the top and the bottom are parallel to each other. And then it has two sides of equal length. That's the left and the right side here. And then there's some other things that are true too, like there's a pair of base angles that happen to be equal a measure, et cetera, et cetera. And then uh, finally, we have the right trapezoid and that would be a trapezoid. So it's got a pair of parallel sides. And then the side that connects those two sides uh, will form two right angles with uh, those two parallel sides. So there you have it. There, that's your, that, those are your 16 basic polygons.